On 31st of December in 2019, guys, I posted a video called My 2020 Beauty Radar Brands I'm Excited to Try. And there was 19 brands on that list, 19 brands that I'd never tried before. Um, and in the last two years, I'm afraid to say that I only got around to trying seven of those 19 brands. So what I wanted to do today is I wanted to let you know what I tried from those brands, whether those brands are still on my radar, the other uh, brands <laughs> that were on my list, whether they're still on my radar, or what's on my radar now. And if you're interested in that, stay tuned. G'day guys, welcome to Yena Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And today I wanted to talk to you about my well, my 2020 Beauty Radar list and also my 2022 Beauty Radar Brands I'm Excited to Try list. Um, as I previously said, there was 19 things on my list back in 2020, which I created that video on the 31st of December 2019. And in that time, we've had the pandemic, obviously. Now, I don't know whether it's the pandemic that has caused me to not buy things or whether it's my own personal reasons, I don't know. But I do know that um, in the last two years, I haven't been as excited as I was to purchase beauty products from any brand, really. Um, and that's a little bit sad, uh, but I am really, really looking forward to 2020 and I'm hoping that the brands pick up their game or that I get re-inspired by something that they bring out. So anyway, I wanted to talk to you about the things that were on my list. So let's have, I'm going to move over. Let's have a little look at my uh, 2020 video, or should I say it was my 2019 video, um, and see what was on there and I'll let you know whether I tried it, whether I liked it, whether it's off my list or whether I'm still inspired to try more. So let's go to it. So some of the things that caught my attention in 2019 was false lashes. And I mean, it's not like I haven't seen them before, I have, but I've just not really been that interested in trying them out for myself. All right, so the first thing, or the first, I guess it's not really a brand. It was just more of a, uh, a trend thing um, I wanted to try was false lashes. And you know what? I really didn't get around to it until maybe about three months ago. And I did try a pair of Ardell Demi Wispies, and I loved them. Um, I don't really like applying them and um, you know I obviously I can't wear sunglasses and it, it's, it takes a bit to sort of get used to it so I'm not really into the swing of applying them all the time but I do want to explore them a little bit more in 2022. Uh, we're very very close to the end of this year and um, yeah I'm keen to try some more. I, I, I do believe that some of my looks would have been better including the one in this video if I had the false lashes on. Um, so I'm really excited to try that and um, yeah, I'm just not sure which brands I want to try yet in regards to false lashes. So let's move on to the second thing. Talking about eyes, I really want to get a hold of some really good eye brushes. So um, I don't have a lot of different um, brushes at the moment. I've, I've got a select few, mostly eco tools and um, real techniques and the likes of that or cheap nasty brands. And I really need some smaller definition brushes. So I am thinking about looking into better quality brushes, whether that's Wayne Goss or whether that's like Refa. So brushes. Now I do have a lot of brushes, but they are still junk brushes. You know, I've still got, I've still got the same brushes and maybe I picked up a couple here and there. Um, some flower beauty ones but nothing like really really special so I do want to try some more brushes I really do still want to try Refa um, maybe even Wayne Goss there's a few there that Teresa is dead and a few other influencers uh, talk about that I'd still like to try but also um, yeah Wayne Goss is on my list for 2022 for a different reason now I want to try his um, bronzing palette so that will be interesting so he's on my list um yeah i didn't get around to getting any brushes two years no spectacular brushes and i really do want to get new brushes because i've got um deep set hooded eyes and i do find it a little bit difficult to do detailed work so um yeah that's something that's still on my list to try let's move on to the next one i don't know much about cover cover FX, but they brought out a duo blush, which I'll stick up right here, that I just still, I'm, I'm looking at it, I'm like, I've got to get one. I just have to have one. Um, yeah, I didn't get around to trying it. So I didn't love the price. 
um, and I really, I really, really, really wanted to try them. But I did want to get this sort of like peachy apricot one. It was always sold out. So I decided instead that I was going to go with a different brand. And um, what brand was it? Let me have a look. Ah, this one here. So, uh, Jouet. Uh, I cannot pronounce that properly. I ended up getting this instead to sort of um, kill my desire to try Carver FX. And you know what? It, it did. Uh, I, I love this thing. I use that. Uh, I use it pretty much every time I've got makeup on. Um, so yeah, Cover FX kind of fell off my radar because they that was the only thing um, that I wanted to try from them and nothing has excited me since. So yeah, they, they fell off my radar um, and I replaced it with something that I love probably either just as much or maybe even more. So let's move on to the next one. Uh, Natasha Denona. Um, for example, I want their, um, the Norvina palette, not the big volumes, it's like a set of three, but just the, the little one. Ah, Natasha Denona. Look, you know what? I'm not wearing as many purples as I used to, um, but I still love them, and I still want this palette, right? I just don't know if I'm ever going to get it. Now, Natasha Denona is still on my list. Um, she keeps on bringing out these little palettes that really, really intrigue me. I really do want to try it. Um, I just don't want any of these big mumbo-jumbo palettes that she brings out. But, um, I, yeah, I, 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 I do really want to try her. And she is on my 2022 wish list or brands or radar that I want to try next year. So... Fingers crossed something uh, comes out that inspires me to pull the trigger and purchase something from her. Let's move on to the next one. I think I remember this one. I think it was Lush. Let's have a look. Lush is another brand that I sort of want to look at. I love baths and I love showers and I love body products that sort of, that are really, really fruity. Yes, Lush. <sighs> I really did want to try the jellies. In fact, I was just doing a video not long ago about Lush products that I literally just purchased for the first time. Um, two years, jeez, and I only just got around to it. And the reason why I only just got around to it is because I wanted to purchase um, a body wash that only comes out with the holiday, um, um, it's a limited edition holiday stuff. And uh, so I did try it and I did love it. I do love it and I'm going to buy a lot more. So they are definitely still on my radar. There is a lot more from their ranges that I want to try. Like I didn't try their jellies. I personally didn't try their bath bombs. My uh, five-year-old did and he loved it and now I want some. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a ton of things that I still want to try from Lush. So pretty excited about that. All right, let's move on to the next one, guys. So, so there's two brands that I'm interested in trying their liquid lipstick formula and that is Too Faced Liquid Lips and Dose of Colours. Too Faced. So yes, happily I report that I did try their lipsticks and I love it. So not only did I try their lipsticks but I tried their eyeshadow formula, um, I tried their mascara, I, I love them. Um, now I can't say that I love everything that they bring out but I really do enjoy what I have. And um, yeah, I'll continue to purchase things if they pop up and um, pique my interest. I did not get around to purchasing anything from Dose of Colours. I still want to, but I don't know. Like, I've got I've got a decent amount of lipsticks at the moment, and I don't like to have a massive stash of things. I find it really, really wasteful. Um, and obviously with masks and everything like that, we haven't been wearing lipstick as much. Well, I mean, I still have, but lipstick that doesn't budge. Um, yeah, they are still on my radar, um, but I'm not 100%. Like, they haven't really brought out anything where I'm like, oh my god! Um, I, I do want to try their liquid lipstick formula and that's why they're still on my radar but everything else is just sort of uninspired um, uninspired I'm not inspired by anything that they've really brought out recently so there's that let's move on Hourglass is another brand that I'm interested in looking into um, I've seen a couple of girls that uh, I've seen a couple of ladies, sorry, that um, are really, really into Hourglass lipsticks. Um, these ones in particular. Hourglass. All right. So, <laughs> I have tried them. I tried, um, I've brought a couple of their face powders. Um, Hourglass. What else have I got from Hourglass? Huh. Yeah. I've got their face powders. And um, they're okay. They're okay. But I haven't tried the Confessions lipstick, which 
is still on my wish list, uh, still on my radar, so there's that. I also want to try their blushes, um, but nothing else really inspires me. I don't, I've got no interest in their foundations or the concealers or anything like that. Um, the holiday, um, what do you call it, face palette, yes. Um, I'm not sure about this year's one, though. I'm still trying to make my mind up about it, but yeah, I, I'd like to try their blushes. Um, I definitely, definitely want to try their um, confession lipsticks. I just haven't pulled the trigger yet. So they are still uh, on my radar for 2022. Let's move on. Physicians Formula is also another brand that I wanted to try a little bit more. All right, Physicians Formula. <laughs> I don't dislike these. I've tried a few things from them. I didn't get around to trying the foundation. I didn't get around to trying the liquid lipstick. I tried the bronzer. I still use that from time to time. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of bored of them. Um, they just fell off my radar. Just kind of, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. They just kind of bore me at the moment. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, I mean, look, if something new comes up that um, really catches my eye, then maybe, but like, they're not on the top of my priority list of brands that I want to purchase from um, in 2022, so we'll see. Let's move on. Another brand that caught my eye this year is Luna Beauty. Um, I wasn't really interested in their, what was it, their strawberry palette? I think his strawberry palette that he brought out? I, eh, I love the packaging with that one. I think the packaging was A-OK, -okay. but uh, I didn't get excited about the shades inside it. And the same thing with the Moonspell palette. I freaking love the look of this palette, right? Like it just speaks, it speaks to me. All right, Luna Beauty is another one. I Look, I don't know whether I'm in love with just their packaging, whether I'm in love with their um, their pans and, and the designs and the, the cap colors that they've got in their palettes, or whether it's a little bit of both. But to be honest with you, I think I'm just in love with their packaging. Um, I think that's what draws me in. And then I look at the palette and then I'm like, eh. Am I going to use that? And I think I think that's the reason why I don't pull the trigger. Um, they're still on my radar. I'm just waiting for them to pull something out of the hat, something that piques my interest, both cover and um, inside. So, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. But, yeah, come on. Look, I really... They did bring out another one of those spell books, but that one kind of bores me as well. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'm expecting, but... Mmm, maybe they'll bring out a third spell book and it'll be what I'm after, so we'll wait and see on that one. Let's move on to the next one. Lethal Cosmetics has been speaking to me this year. Um, everything that they bring out, I'm like, ooh, mm, mm, mm. and a lot of people are talking about it. I'm seeing a lot more reviews. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I want all of the shades that they have. So Lethal Cosmetics, they have to be one of the brands that is on the top of my priority list, but there's so much to choose from. And every time I go and design my own palette, I design something new every single time. And I just don't know which one to pull the trigger on. I want to try it all, but like, you know, I can't afford to. Um, and now they've brought out the multi-chromes and, and the liners and I just, there is so much I want to try from them. Now I do have um, one of the uh, liners and I, I love it. I love it. So I have tried a little bit, right, but not enough. I, I want to try all the things. So they are definitely on my list for 2022. Let's move on. But these other three brands I'm looking at, they've caught my eye, but I'm not 100% yet. Like they, I'm excited by what I'm hearing, but I'm not 100% sure. Those brands are uh, Blush Tribe, Dubious Place, and Menagerie Cosmetics. All right, so these next three, um, they were all on my list because either my love of color at the time or my love of purple or my love of packaging. Packaging is essentially what pulled me in on all of these um, brands. Uh, especially the uh, Menagerie Cosmetics. Oh my gosh, that violet ink palette. I love it. I love it. I want to buy it, but you know what? I'm just probably not going to use it. Um, it'd be like once in a blue moon because I've kind of stopped using purples. Not forever, just I'm taking a break, right? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, and... Uh, Juvia's Place, I ended up pulling the trigger and getting the purple palette. I can't remember what it's called, but it's this one right here. And to be honest with you, it just pissed me off. Um, everybody else seems to have a good time with this, but maybe it's just like, it's just not working for me. Um, I just don't get very good color payoff, at least not right away. Uh, it's probably buildable, but you know, I ain't got time for that shit. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. These guys are just all fallen off my list. Um, yeah, I guess if something sort of pops out that's more universal for my personal preference, then uh, maybe. But not from Juvia's. I'm kind of annoyed. Um, yeah, oh gosh, you know, it's really bad because I've only tried one thing from them. And that doesn't necessarily mean that, that everything's not going to work for me, but you know what it's like. You have a bad experience with something and you kind of don't trust it again. So there's that. So those three are kind of like off my list at the moment, at least. Let's move on. Pixie Beauty is another one that's on my radar specifically because of their glow tonic. All right, Pixie. And yes, I did buy the glow tonic and it was only uh, recently actually. So I'm still trialing it. The first time I tried it, I tried it with the um, Milky Mist, uh, which was the other product that I was yeah. babbling over in my past video. And I tried them both at the same time and I had I had a bit of a reaction. So um, I'm, I'm testing them individually at the moment. And look, I think they're okay, but I don't necessarily think that they're all that. At least that's not the... It's not what I'm getting. It's not what my skin's sort of telling me after using them. So, eh, a little bit disappointing. I don't know. I, I still need to give it a little bit longer. It's only been a couple of weeks, and I like to give, like, skincare sort of things at least a month, maybe two, um, before I sort of form an opinion on it. So we'll see. But Pixie's kind of off my radar now. Um, I've tried what I wanted to try, and nothing else really interests me. So there's that. <laughs> Let's move on. I want to try a little bit more of Jeffree Star Cosmetics because I do have, I did pick up um, in 2019 the Jawbreaker palette which is what I have on my eyes today as I already said but I've also tried these liquid lip formula as well. So the next thing that was obviously on my list was Jeffree Star and I tried a lot from Jeffree Star and look I'm not disappointed in the products themselves. Um, I think the quality is outstanding. Um, I, I love the palettes, I love the formula, I love the lipsticks, I love the um, scrubs, um, I love the highlighters, but I'm a bit over it, I'm a bit over him, um, hair, yeah, I don't know, and nothing he's really brought out has been inspiring to me lately, so um, it all sort of started going downhill for me when he brought out the purple palette. It just wasn't what I was expecting. It's just not what I was hoping for, what I wanted. And everything else after that was kind of like, eh. Um, so yeah, he's kind of fallen off my list right now. I'm not really paying attention to what he's doing and what he's bringing out. And um, yeah, oh well. <laughs> there are plenty of other brands for me to try out. So let's move on. Here's Melt Cosmetics. They first got on my radar with the, I think it was the, the Smoke Sessions palette? I'll put it on the screen anyway. I saw this and I looked at it and I'm like, that's that's interesting. Melt Cosmetics. Oh my gosh, guys. Like, I really, I really, 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 really want to try these guys. I really do. And I still love those palettes. I still love looking at those palettes and I still really want to try them, but I'm still really nervous about them. Oh, um, uh, yeah. I just, it's too high risk for my brain to pull the trigger, you know? I don't, I, I just, I don't know if I can fuck with that. But they've brought out some fantastic stuff, like really inspiring stuff, stuff that speaks to me. But I don't know. I'm, they're still on my radar, but I'm still very cautious. And I just don't know whether I'm comfortable enough pulling the trigger um, based on what I've seen from the past. Oh, yeah. I don't know, guys. Anyway, let's move on. And Kaleidos, I think it's called. There's two different brands. There's Kaleido and Kaleidos, but I'm pretty sure it's Kaleidos. You'll know what I'm talking about because I'm going to put up these palettes here that are piquing my interest, but also highlighters as well. So the last thing was Kaleidos. Now, I originally wanted to try Kaleidos because of their eyeshadow formula. I have not tried their eyeshadow formula, but I did try their cloud uh, lipsticks. Actually, I'm wearing one at the moment. This is Sienna. Uh, I love it. I love them. I've brought four and um, I'm inspired. I, they're definitely on my 2022 wish list. I want more. I want to try their eyeshadow. I want to try their highlighters. I, I want to try all the things. <laughs> all right, guys. So other than the products or the brands that I just told you about that are still on my wish list for 2022, there is only three brands that I've added to my list and they are NARS. Now, Look, I've been looking at NARS for a while, and I thought NARS, hmm, 
was kind of a little bit like Mac, where everyone, in, they're either talking about it like it is the bomb, or it's kind of like meh. Now, I've been paying attention a lot lately um, to Nars, and things that they've been bringing out, I really, really want to try. I like this face palette, and even their lipsticks, and uh, their concealer. I want to try their concealer as well. So they are on my 2022 uh, brands I want to try radar. Uh, I also want to try Shantikai. Now, I wouldn't have even bothered looking at Shantikai not too long ago, but um, Teresa is dead for quite some time, has been banging on about this powder, um, and I'm, I want to try it. It's so expensive. I just don't know. I don't know whether I can pull the trigger on it, but I really, 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 really want to try this powder. Um, so they are on my radar for 2022. And the last thing that is on my radar, and it has kind of been on my radar for a while, but more so lately, is Viseart. They bring out a ton of tiny palettes that I'm obsessed with, and I just, I don't pick them up, and I don't know why. I don't know why I haven't pulled the trigger on them, um, probably because of the price, but... I don't know. I really, really do want to try them, um, mainly for their eyeshadow formula. Nothing else has sort of, nothing else has really sort of jumped out at me. But um, yeah, so look, my 2022 list isn't really that extensive. But like I said, I think brands have been really boring in the last two years, and um, I don't know if that's just me or not. But that's my perspective, and I really do think that they need to pull their finger out and um, pump out something really, really special or something that hasn't been seen before. Or I don't know. I don't know. Something. Do something innovative. In in. Do something innovative. Innovative. I don't know. Do something special. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, look, that's all I have got. I want to see if I can pull another one of these videos out next year, next December, and talk about my 2023 videos. But, um, guys, I ugh, I don't know what you got out of this video, but if you stayed tuned for the entire thing, thank you so much. And um, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.